My name is Judy Coleman, and I'm part of the James Lab here at UCI. We're in the Department of Molecular Biology and Biochemistry. Today, I'm going to be dissecting Aedes aegypti mosquitoes, and we'll be dissecting um, the salivary gland in the midgut. We are interested in these specific tissues because they are very involved in the pathway of the virus and the parasites. When a mosquito ingests a blood meal, the parasite or virus goes into the salivary gland, and from the salivary gland, it goes into the midgut. It goes through the midgut epith epithelium and then into the hemolymph, and that travels through the mosquito's bloodstream, the hemolymph, and into the salivary gland. There it resides until it's ready to take another blood meal. All right, what I'm going to be doing now first is I'm going to be dissecting the midgut from the Aedes aegypti. First of all, I need to put on um, one times PBS. This is a buffer that is, is our good physiological conditions. So we put it on the slide. And I have a cold in order to keep the mosquito from flying away while we're dissecting. So that I will take the, um, for midgut, to get a midgut, I have to point the mosquito, I put the, my, um, I use a probe that I've made, and I put the probe through the thorax of the mosquito. Once I put it under the microscope, I pick up the forceps, I take the very end of the abdomen section, and I pull it off, and I leave the midgut behind. So the midgut's, the midgut's right there and I will pull that off. There it is, there's the isolated midgut. Right now we're gonna be dissecting the salivary glands out of the Aedes aegypti. In this procedure, I use two, uh, two different probes and the forceps. I have one probe here that has a straight um, pin and I use this to um, grab the mosquito. I use one probe that has uh, an angled pin and I use this to push the salivary lens out of the mosquito. The forceps I use to pull the head off the mosquito before I take the salivary lens out. When I take the mosquito out of the petri dish, I poke it in its thorax. It's easier to, for me to pull, to get the, the glands out if I can um, remove the legs, so I just do that by hand. I then put the mosquito in the buffer and, and I pull her head off and I push on the thorax, and I push out the salivary gland. Here's a good look at the salivary gland. And there's a look at both parts of the pair of salivary glands. We have just finished dissecting salivary glands and midguts out of the Aedes aegypti mosquito. We look at this material at a molecular level in order to interfere with the pathway of the virus or the parasite within the mosquito.